Hello, Buzz and Cuts. My name is Hotsusti, and welcome back to Beltless Victorio, where we try to beat the game without placing any belts. That's why we have lots of rails here. And last time we set up this uh, big uh, research facility where we are delivering all kinds of. Uh, of uh, sciences uh, currently we only are in in the early phase where we have red and green one um, but i think the uh, other ones will come in due time and i forgot here the unloading for red uh, however as we noted yes uh, yesterday did the last video come out yesterday? At anyway, in the last episode, we noticed um, we do not really have the throughput that we want to have to uh, uh, push really uh, anything. To be frank, and looking at the base and the setup, I can see two things responsible for that. One is insert of speed and capacity. On a capacity we are currently working um, and I think the, the speed that's uh, uh, probably a limiting factor here uh, in our mining outpost where we just cannot load the trains fast enough. And uh, probably there we want to uh, replace some of the yellow inserters with uh, the blue ones, which are faster. And we probably also need a few more miners because here you can see uh, there are some miners that have run out of uh, ore. And then the uh, other thing that we do have is um, if you look at the map, there are quite a few stations, but there are not that many trains that with around our network. Mostly they are just standing there waiting to be loaded or unloaded. And we could improve that by having more trains. However, as we noticed, um, the trains, they have a tendency to get stuck. Uh, especially if there is more than one station to unload and that's an issue with scalability um, we see we have seen that already for our uh, uh, ore stations or our smelting uh, where we sometimes end up with a train in here and then a train waiting here to go in, which basically prevents this train from leaving as this is an in-out station and not a through station like these ones. So there I was thinking maybe we can have a, a waiting bay for the delivery stations. Because thinking on uh, uh, past series, there I also always had multiple uh, loading stations for the ores, but then only one unloading station uh, for the smelter. And before that, I had a simple waiting bay. And here I think the waiting bay is a bit more complex because we have to do it with a train station because the waiting bay cannot be directly before the unloading as we have multiple of them but I think we can 
find a way to even achieve that. But first, uh, let me grab some materials um, so that I then can craft a few more miners and uh, the blue inserters to deal with the first issue. And once I've done that, probably that research will also be finished. So see you on the flip side. On the ore field side, we now have faster loading. We also have a few more minus and we see that this setup is probably way better than this one. I actually missed a few inserts there because uh, I would expect that when a train is not sitting there, these chests will fill up. So if we would have stack inserters here at the front, we could even load the train faster because then we could get rid of the ore backlog. However, here where we have a long-handed inserters, that will just not work. And why is this train ore smelting is disabled? Because we have enough ore sitting there. All right. That's that's fine then. But uh, we were looking for solutions to the queuing problem and what i was thinking that we can have every so often uh, a few of these squares linked together horizontally and have waiting queues there uh, for various stations that we have in here and I think here we can see this train is here waiting for the inserters. But on this line we have never produced any. But down here we would have some waiting. So actually we should also tie in uh, disable or enable these... Uh, um, these stations based on is there any uh, goods in the chests uh, that would make sense to load the things. But I think first let's have um, I was thinking having a waiting bay of uh, two squares long that should give us uh, a possibility to have four train in one bay then have a waiting bay down here again uh, and as we do not need to have any loading unloading we can pack the the base closer together than we have in here. So let me prepare something down here. Uh, I think uh, we will start with, with things for, for iron and copper smelting. So I think maybe here on this level, which means I would have to rip out uh, this crossing here because then we would have the waiting bay that way. So let me fix up the, uh, the lines around here and then we can go about and design uh, this, this whole thing. I have set up the space here uh, two squares horizontally and this is basically the topmost uh, line that we can have. Um, we will have 
the waiting station here and from here the trains can leave upwards but they can also go downwards and then um, on the other end uh, we need to see that we also get in I mean from that side it should not be that big a problem uh, and we have to copy that then down here and on the on the lowest side on the lowest lane we also have to see that we can still get out um, but I need more rails I need um, uh, probably more signals, more stations. So once again, it's crafting time and uh, walking around. And uh, I, I will place in the rails for the waiting babe. And then we will certainly see how that turns out. And once we have that we probably want to have a second one here on top and uh, then we need to adjust the trains the bay is in i even have there is the blueprint even have a blueprint of it and we want to have another bay here at the top but the ideal spot would be around here but you can see there we still have the original uh, ore patches in the way so I expect that's not something that will happen soon uh, and we cannot even move it to there still iron in the way and then back here we are already in the coal patch so i think maybe at some point we will fill that lake in and have another waiting bay there um, but we could also have basically a second one down here if the need arises but for now we have five lines each line can hold four trains and I think to begin with, um, we shall have waiting um, iron ore smelting and copper ore smelting. Copper ore smelting and these do not have a train limit so that means more trains can come to that station um, and they will just queue up behind and we can have at max four trains to queue up so let's grab our iron train and at the waiting station waiting iron ore smelting and then we add the iron smelting empty cargo and remove it from there So we should see that one going to here and then wait there. Um, it skips the next station. Okay. 
I mean, as long as they do that round trip, it's not too bad. And at the later point, we can try to do something with uh, circuits. Um, basically, uh, observing the, the state of the unloading station and only then send them onwards. All right then. Um, there is the other train. Let's have that also set up. Waiting iron ore smelting and then this one and we remove that one and here empty cargo right and then i will do the same thing i mean the drawback with this back and forth is they will use a lot more um, coal. But let's not worry about that for the moment. Uh, what we should worry about is the situation where we send trains to a loading station that does not have anything to load. So, example, this one here should be enabled because we have uh, here in the chests something in there. So, let's uh, add that. Um, if we have more than 500. So here we see this one is enabled. And up here we shall have the same thing. Enable 500, um, more than 500, right? So this one is enabled. Yes, we can see it's it's white, and then basically the same thing here. Here, however, I would expect that the station is then disabled. Yeah, and we can see that at the red light there, and it also is printed there on the left side. So, um... These two at and five hundred. Right, this one is also disabled. That means we have to do the same thing here for these ones. Um, and here it's uh, inserters 500 
and inserters 500. And then we send that train to there and there. And then we should be able to load some inserters. And we have to use different wires because the red ones go to the inserters and they are based on the what we have already loaded on the content and the greens to the chest uh, where we are waiting uh, for the content and because what we have in the train and what we have in the chest is the same item uh, we cannot use the same wire otherwise we would basically have the the signal added up here so the amount we have in the chest and in the in the cargo wagon um, would be added up and taken as a as an input here and there we have the next train running out of uh, of fuel so let me quickly run over and supply fuel and uh, probably uh, we should then at some point think about a train fueling station, especially if the trains are sipping around um, a bit needlessly. But yes, so that works. Um, we probably also need uh, the same thing here for the green ones. The green, um, they are in here. So, and uh, this way. Um, that right and I will go around and do that for all the loading stations and then maybe we might have a bit of time uh, to figure out how we can introduce uh, set up that would allow the waiting system to actually work. I see that the time has already progressed quite a bit, but at least we are producing uh, green signs here. However, for weird reasons uh, we have unloaded most of it in the second station not in the first one so I will have to go investigate that and I will also have to tinker a bit uh, uh, to come up with a system how we can disable uh, or add a waiting condition uh, on here um, if uh, if uh, the uh, the destination is set up uh, or can receive a train we will figure that out until next time uh, or sometime soon and hope you enjoyed this episode and also turn in for the next one. Until then, goodbye.